everybody, it's been a while, but I did it again. I bought another big ticket item from Wish, and this time it's an Xbox One X. So I'm gonna do things a little bit differently today because, I don't know, I just feel like being different. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my laptop, I'm gonna screen record today, March 15th, 2019, right? And I'm gonna go on the Wish page and see what the price for an Xbox One is. Wish.com. Hope everybody's day is going nicely. So I'm just gonna pretend like I'm buying one today because I bought this on Saturday, Saturday, March 9th, and it came on Thursday, March 14th. But I believe it's this one right here. So this seller is selling it for $3.90 today. I'm gonna show you a side by side of how much I paid. I was able to get my Xbox One X for significantly cheaper. There's a couple things about Wish that I want to explain to people because I have a video with over 300,000 views and it's me buying a Nintendo Switch on Wish. And everybody always says Wish is a scam. You know, every website is generally a scam. So, <laughs> but with that said, every website has the potential to scam people. Go on eBay, buying used things on Amazon. On Wish, like just like every other website, you want to do a little bit of research with the seller and everything of that sort. And there's two key things I always go on whenever I buy big things on Wish is it's verified by Wish shoppers. So these people actually bought the item on Wish and uh, have it delivered and maybe posted a review or a rating. And faster shipping. I received mine in about for a business day, so that was actually pretty good. That's just a few of the little tidbits I want to give about Wish. So this is $3.90 on March 15, 2019. So with the current coupon they have right now is save, I only have a 5% coupon. So that's just paying full retail price. But I just want to show you that the seller has some right now, as of today. And if you can score on some promo codes, like what I'm going to show next, you can get this for how much I paid, which was about $279 for an Xbox One X. So here's a screen capture of the actual day that I bought my Xbox One X, which was on March 9th, 2019. So from time to time, whenever there's a new season or whenever a holiday is coming up, Wish will have random promo code sales. And this past week, it was their spring sale. And as you can see right there, that's when I just bought the item. I just logged into my computer so I can do quick screen recording because I actually bought it on my phone. And I got really lucky because I actually got a really good coupon from that promo code sale. So this is actually where I bought it from. I showed you earlier that it was from that seller VIP outlet, but on the day that I bought it, it was actually $388. But on my phone, they had a little thing said, instant offer, if you add it to your cart right now, we'll take off five bucks. So that's how it ended up being $383. So there's little things like that all over Wish's website that ultimately reduces the price. So adding that to my spring sale coupon, which was 25% off my purchase, I ended up getting a hefty amount taken off my Xbox One X, which was another $95 off. And then there's also this one thing that happens ever so often when you're about to buy something and then last second you change your mind. They just throw in this 5% off your order if you check out right now. And that's not 5% off the discount you already have. That's 5% off the original price of $383. So that's why there was another $19.75 taken off. So that's why my total ended up being $279.50. Sense. And lastly, when you get lucky and you find a really good seller, they'll ship through a reputable place, not through like USPS or China Airmail. So you'll find some people who actually ship from America and have a business in America, and you'll receive your item in that five to seven business day window, ship through FedEx, ship through UPS, whatever uh, company they use. I actually got mine in about four business days, which was earlier than the estimate. And you know, you just have to do your research on Wish and any other website and you should have some safe shopping but there are those scammers out there and you know this isn't a promoted video by wish or anything i just like finding people good deals and i like getting good deals myself so with that said let's go to the unboxing so the xbox one x came in a plain old discreet looking black box no images or graphics or anything of that sort and it kind of bumps me out because this is about my fourth purchase from the seller on wish uh, my very first purchase was a PS4 Pro and that came in the original box. My second item was that Samsung TV that I have a video of as well and that came in the original box. And then as of late, the Nintendo Switch from the other video that is kind of popular, uh, that just came in a discreet white box. So I guess the trend continues, I guess they, they're probably out of original boxes. Anywho, this unboxing is really simple because there's not much that comes with the Xbox One X. Here's the Xbox controller. And I just want to look at it in the light just to see if there's any scratches or blemishes. But it is absolutely perfect. The only thing you see are my fingerprints. 
deep down inside, I was expecting to have that old original Xbox One controller with that proprietary <laughs> connector you need to plug in headphones. But fortunately, it's all the newer model, newer things. Uh, other than that, there should just be a HDMI cable and the power cable inside the box along with the Xbox One X. I just wanted to showcase how the seller ships things because they use a lot of bubble wrap. They make sure that the items are safe and secure. Uh, I've never experienced that before with any other seller and wish. You see that uh, industrial size gigantic bubble wrap right there that they wrap everything in. And then here comes the Xbox One X which comes with more of that big old bubble wrap. But the cool thing about this is that, aside from that little foam cover, they wrapped the whole thing in plastic wrap. They super sealed it in there. And you know, I appreciate that because it prevents it from getting scratched while being shipped. And so far the exterior, I uh, still, you know, the exterior looks perfect. Uh, I'm just afraid that there might be a few scratches if I open it, but that is the ultimate test to see if I got my money's worth, uh, actually even more than my money's worth because so far it's uh, exceeding my expectations. And here it is. I see nothing wrong with it. I'm going to put it into the light a few times just to see if there's any uh, hidden scratches that the naked eye can't see or if the lighting's kind of faulty. But it looks good so far. And one thing I did not know was that this thing is so heavy. I think it's almost 10 pounds. If any of you randomly know the exact weight of an Xbox One X, let me know in the comments below because this guy's a little bit too lazy to go on Google right now and close out all my apps just to get the right answer. But here are all the ports on the back. They look pretty good. I don't see any dirt or any scuffs or anything to hinder those plugs. So ideally they should work perfectly. But what comes next is the ultimate test. Did I get a dud? Did I get a lemon? We'll find out. Let's plug everything in. So I'm gonna speed up this portion just a little bit so that we can get through it. Just wanna test and see if all of the cords work. And then rather than connecting it straight to the TV, I'm gonna plug it into the Elgato so that I can record simultaneously for once the actual device working as well as the launch screen. Cause I'm assuming this is wiped and this is uh, factory reset it so let's get to that and see what happens i'll shut up for now so you guys can just see me tinker with this thing So here it is, it's up and running. Let's see if we can get through this loading screen and get the actual initialization set up. After that, I think I'll feel very confident that this is a working Xbox One X from Wish. And here it is, let's get it set up. But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna cut this video short eventually because there has to be a giant update which is gonna take forever to download. But let's get the controller connected to see if it works. And here you go, I did it the easy way, I just plugged it in rather than trying to sync it wirelessly. It never works for me for some reason. If anybody knows how to fix that, please let me know in the comments below. I'd greatly appreciate it. But uh, let's try to get a connection going, a wired connection. I don't know why I pressed B right there. But anywho, everything's functioning. The controller is working well. All the buttons seem to work well. I like to say clicky in all my videos with controllers. The buttons are nice and clicky. <laughs> Before I wrap this video up, I have a little message out there. I'm what you call a bargain hunter. I look for good deals on the internet or in person. Uh, I don't work for Wish or Amazon or any other company that I mention on my channel, GameStop, whatever it is that you guys watch and see on my channel. I just try to find the best deals for myself and I like to share it with everybody out there. So with that said, I hope you all enjoy the video. Thank you to everybody for helping my channel grow. And if you haven't yet, please click the subscribe button and to also check out all these videos are going to pop up right now. I hope everybody has a great day and I will see everybody soon. Happy bargain hunting everybody.